Okay, we're going to the Tina Posa Shrine. This is, loaded in, this is located in the Ancient Columns area, which is just south of the Tapantha Tower. Some moblins over here. Okay, you can also get a Korok seed in this area. I can remember where it's at. The shrine is up the hill. Okay, so anyways, for these Clorox seeds, where you see the, where it's kind of like a leaf in the shape of an arrow, where you see it pointing, that's the direction you want to go after you step on it. And you want to go really fast. So you want to make it up to the top of that thing. Time, eat your core up. Major test of strength. I'm going to want to change back into my ancient armor, get ancient proficiency, use an ancient weapon. point in the game when you got this many hearts, you got the ancient armor leveled up all above two. I mean, it's pretty safe to do a major test of strength. Now you can't use a well. You can use a master sword against guardian scouts, but you don't want to because it doesn't power up to sixty. These Guardian Scouts aren't powered by Ganon's Malice. Look at that 
didn't do much damage to me at all. Because of this guardian armor, as you see down there in the bottom right, it says guardian resist up. And I busted my guardian. I don't have many guardian weapons. Okay, those things are way too hard to shield carry against. Two more ancient shafts. Well, actually, I need two more ancient shafts and I can upgrade my chest piece once again. Then, after that, I need 15 more ancient shafts and another ancient core. But other than that, I beat the shrine. And I got some decent weapons out of it. This one and this one, and a good shield. It's Halbred. Halbred, I always say Halbred. Might come back for another time. I'll mark it with a. Instead of like just a weapon, like a sword, I'll mark two of them, so it looks more like a spear. That way I know I need a spear and come back here to get one. And that's how you beat that one. <laughs> 